Hello, everyone. I went somewhere and I bought some hand sanitizer and hand wash. You know, it was on sale for like 25 cents for something like maybe not that high, but like <laughs> maybe I am not describing it correctly, but really cheap. So I went to the cashier before I bought it. I went to the cashier and I saw that she was, for some reason, I have no idea, not placing it all upward, but laying it on the side. And I believe she was dropping it in, in the bag, like just kind of being careless with it. And I asked her very politely, can you stand it up like something like that? Can you put it in the bag upright? And I felt she became a bit sassy with me saying that it doesn't matter and you are just being particular and I, i'm thinking like you are getting paid or i thought afterward perhaps you are getting paid to do this like this is your job and then because i bought quite a few of them i asked her to double bag it and when I asked her that, she was saying, you are putting me to work, so let me put you to work. So um, can you grab the bag? And, you know, like in this, I felt in this sassy way. And I was a little bit disturbed about it in the store. But when I get home, after a while, I believe, I get more irritated. I even thought, a thought came to my mind, to go up there and straighten her out, as in, like, tell her, don't talk to me like that. Like, maybe make a little scene about it. And I am truly glad I did not do it. Because I believe I was thinking like, that is your job. Like, why can't you just do it and not have that? Maybe that is how she is. But even if that is how she is, that is not right. I felt like I was wronged, but I really thank God I did not retaliate because maybe if I would have retaliated, maybe the situation would have escalated. Maybe I would have done or said something that was not right. So how many of us have been wronged but chose to do something about it but made very bad decisions when you did it i think some things you need to leave alone some things you need to keep your mouth closed because maybe if you say something, maybe if you do something, even if you are right, even if you are right, maybe it will not turn out good. Maybe it will turn out worse. There may be some reasonable people out there 
there may be some. And maybe if you would or will tell them, hey, I did not like when you said this, I did not like when you said that or did this or that, maybe they would be understanding. But I have found there are some people, at least outwardly, won't take responsibility of what they have done or said. Even though they may know they are wrong, I think there are some people that are willing to fight with you even though they are wrong. I had this situation where a woman was lying on me and she was just going overboard to prove her lie is true, I guess. And she was just doing way too much. In the end, she got into trouble and confessed that she was lying in so many words. I believe there are some unreasonable people out there and probably your best bet, if I can say that, is to leave them alone. Walk away. Because I believe when, maybe not all, but maybe when some people get angry, maybe you will begin to say things or do things you really did not want to do or say. I know that happened to me before. I know it did. I try not to give in to anger, like extreme anger. I try not to, how can I say this, let it take over me. That is very dangerous very dangerous. So we all need to keep our mouth shut, I believe, most of the time. Because even if you prove you are right, but at what cost? Like, do you want to be proved right but have so many bad things happen to where it would cost you more to prove that you are right than just to be quiet. So at what cost are you willing to be proven right? Like, is it even worth it in the end? If you get shot, if you get cut, if you get if you get punched in the face or something like that to be proven right, was it really worth it? If your car's tire get slashed, if someone keys your car because you want it to be right, or to be proven right, was it worth it? So at what cost, cost, are you willing to, I guess I can say pay, to be proven right? I was so irritated at that woman. Like, why would you even talk to me, a customer, and that way, when it is your job to bag items, to take a person's payment and regulate stuff like that, why would you even... So strange. If you are not cut out for customer service, find another job, right? Anyways, I believe we need, in many cases, to keep our mouth shut. Let me stop here. God bless you.